Arrested Development, The Super Bowl, My Little Pony, Harry Potter, League of Legends, USC Football. toy packaging writer at Mattel, but I'm an expert at the Halloween movie franchise. I'm a comedy writer, but I'm an expert at the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I'm a former game show host, but I'm an expert on Iron Chef. Welcome to the experts. Our game is played in four rounds, and in round one, our experts will answer ten questions apiece. We are going to start with you, Matt. You are our Halloween movies expert. That is Here correct. we go, my friend. Question one, from 1978 to 2002, how many movies were in the original Halloween franchise before the 2007 remake? Eight movies. That is correct. What city is Michael Myers' birthplace and hometown? Haddonfield, Illinois. That is right. Who plays Michael Myers in the 2007 remake? Tyler Maine. Tyler Maine is correct. Question four, what movie in the franchise does not feature Michael Myers as the killer? Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. That is right. What 26-year-old actor plays the role in Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, that was played in the first film by eight-year-old Brian Andrews? Paul Rudd. You, my friend, are five for five, halfway there. What is Michael's nickname for his little sister in the 2007 remake? Boo. Boo, you scared me. Who composed <laughs> the oh, score? I can hear the well, YouTube audience groaning. Who that one. composed the score for the first three Halloween films? John Carpenter. That is right. What is the subtitle of 1989's Halloween 5, Matt? Uh, the Revenge of Michael Myers. You are eight for eight. Question nine. John Carpenter wrote the 1981 film Escape from New York with his college buddy Nick Castle, who holds what distinction in the Halloween franchise? He played Michael Myers or The Shape in the first Halloween. Yes, he is the first actor to play Michael yes. Myers. That's good enough for me. <laughs> Question 10. What actress with a three-word name plays Michael's mother in the 2007 remake? Sherry Moon Zombie. Sherry Moon Zombie is right. You are perfect <laughs> wow. at Halloween. Well done, my friend. We move to you, Josh. I'm supposed to follow that? You I are indeed. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Why, didn't, why didn't I go first? I Let's see that. whose wow. trivia reigns supreme. <laughs> uh, Josh, it's the Iron Chef. Here is your first question. You did not have bad. <laughs> I don't know if that's cheating. In what two-word location do the battles take place? Kitchen Stadium. That's right. What is the stage name of the actor who hosts the show? Takeshi Kaga. That is right. French Iron Chef Hiroyuki Sakai is known as the blank of French cuisine. Delacroix. Delacroix, correct. What two-word phrase that roughly translates as, go ahead, cook, does Chairman Kaga yell to begin each battle? Ale cuisine! Wow, that's freaking awesome. What does, and this, this, by the way, should be just as good. What does Ota Shinichiro always say when asking for attention from the announcer? Cuisine. That is right. We know that that's correct. Yes. It is. <laughs> it's we were, we it's I, I, very I close, very close to what's yeah, written so here, bad. so I'm going to go with it. Uh, question six for you. You, my friend, also five for five. What does Chairman Kaga take a bite of in the opening sequence? Would it suffice if I just showed you? Yeah, and why don't you, you know, go ahead. Why not? Uh, there you go. Well done, Chairman. Have you been <laughs> Chairman <on>? Josh. <laughs> no, what but is, I know a lot about it. What is the title of the show in its original Japanese? Yori no Tetsujin. That is right. I'm so glad you got that right because I didn't want to say it. <laughs> Better me what, say it than you, right? What other job did Kurimoto Shinichiro famously hold while judging? He was a lower house member. A member of parliament. We will accept that. Question nine. <laughs> what female judge is a food critic? Um, Asako Kishi. That is correct. And finally, if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, what will he or she gain, according to the opening sequence? The people's ovation and fame forever. We have not gotten a wrong answer no, thus far, so and nice. we move on. I, I mean, there's nothing I can say. None Isaac. of us have lives. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it speaks for itself. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, the no, no. Fresh Prince of Bel Air is your category, category Isaac. Here we go. Yeah. Question one What entertainment mogul was billed as executive producer on all 148 episodes of the series? 
Quincy Jones. That's right. According to the theme song, what five-word response did Will Smith yell to the cabbie when he dropped him off in Bel Air? Hey, Holmes, smell you later. It's Yo Holmes, smell you later. Oh. oh. It had the perfection had to end somewhere. <laughs> what model made her acting debut on the French Prince of Fresh Prince of Bel Air, playing Jackie Ames? Tyra Banks. That's correct. What is the mascot of the University of Los Angeles, where Will and Carlton start going to school in season four? The Peacock. They are the Peacocks. What is Kellogg Lieberbaum's nickname? Cornflake. That is right. What actress reportedly auditioned to play the role of Lisa, Will's girlfriend, but didn't get the role because she was too short? Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith. Pinkett Smith. That is irony. What vocal group sang at the christening of Nicholas Michael Sean Nathan Wanya Banks? Boys to Men. Boys to Men. He's named after them. In the season six episode, the script formerly known as, in what holiday appropriate shape does Jazz get his hair cut? Pumpkin. A pumpkin is right. <laughs> You've gotten seven out of eight right. What cast member wrote the 2009 autobiography, Perfection is Not a Sitcom, Mom? <laughs> uh, Alfonso Ribeiro? It's Janet Huber. Okay. And Duh. What, what's... <laughs> I mean, please. Are we allowed to curse on this thing? Is you that... can say whatever. Yeah, are we, are we, are we... Both of you. <laughs> hey, are you serious? Hey, you, don't have, you, don't have, you, you get a fuck you because you got a 10 too. I was going to say, I haven't said anything this whole time. Yeah, you, you know, know what? You said a lot. Let's try, let's try and get an 8. All what right. song does Carlton traditionally perform the Carlton dance to? It's not unusual. Come Tom, on, you can do better than that. It's not unusual by Tom Jones. I'm going to save the dance to actually do it. So don't worry. <laughs> Is that right? Don't worry, because if I did it now, it would be like all in his face. So <laughs> you don't want to take me out after, that, after I got the ten. It's Isaac, coming. you did really, it's really coming. well. You're all experts, clearly. <laughs> It's round two, and our experts are going to have seven questions to choose from, ranging in difficulty from one to seven. But those seven-dollar questions are going to be really hard. They'll get two questions apiece. They can either answer or push. But if they push and their opponent gets it right, their opponent gets the money. Our experts don't lose any money in this round, but if they're smart, they'll keep their opponents from making much money. Isaac, you have the lowest score, so we are going to start with you. <laughs> It's an eight. That's not exactly uh, like a two. The, the difference between a yo and a hey. Oh. That's all it is. Isaac, and we, one other question. Why don't you lift your screen and swipe? Oh, man. <laughs> there we so, go. Your $7 question, oh. Isaac. <laughs> you can make them all laugh by keeping this, but it's going to be the hardest question on the board. You can pass it to one of your friends. Pass it to Josh. <laughs> I'm going to pass it to... My buddy right here. <laughs> Passing it to Josh. Oh the, boy. The category is Iron Chef. If he gets it. Here, oh, okay. If he gets it, he gets here it. Here is your question, Josh. Your seven dollar question. Bring it. Who was the opposing chef in the final battle that featured Iron Chef Michiga? Michiba? Michiga. Michiga. Michiba. Okay. The, his his final regular episode? The final battle that featured him. Kome Nakamura. Seven dollars. I don't know what that is in yen, but that was well done. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, we move to you Thank now. You very much. You're welcome. We move to you now, Matt. Pick up your board, swipe away. Okay. The six dollar question. It doesn't get any second harder than that. <laughs> no, uh <laughs> having, having second thoughts, keep are it. you? Keep no, it. I'm gonna I'll do it. Keep You're it gonna over. keep it. Six dollars. <laughs> Look at this. Matt. What two actresses from H2O have been nominated for Oscars? Michelle Williams is one. Um, Janet Lee. I think she got a, nom a nomination. Yeah, it was Psycho, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Six shit. Dollars. Well, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Well. I knew it wasn't fucking well. Jamie Lee Curtis. We. I was, thinking, I was wondering, was it Jamie Lee Curtis? No, I was like, that was too easy, but I knew Michelle Williams. It could have been Buster Ryan. I was All just right. sitting here wondering, what the hell is he going to do? Because I have no Josh, idea. Josh, uh, pick it up. Swipe the board. Here we go. No, One thing. through five Good available. Question. What is this? And it's four. Right it's up the middle. It's a four. It's a four. Uh... <laughs> I think I'm going to pass this one to Matt. Matt, the category is Halloween. The $4 question is not. In what four films in the franchise does the character of Sheriff Brackett appear? 
Uh, Halloween, the original, Halloween 2, and then uh, the remake of Halloween and, the, and Halloween 2, the 2009 one. Yeah, that's four movies. You're correct. It's also $4. I had a feeling well you were going to get that. What? what? Oh. <laughs> I had a feeling you were going to get that. But Isaac, uh, Matt has answered both of his questions. He doesn't get to answer another one this round. Mm -hmm. You swipe now, and let's see where it takes you. One dollar question. Oh. The easiest there is. You In can the theme song. answer it or <laughs> you can pass it. I'm going to pass it. You're going to pass yes, it to that's Josh. That's smart. That's Josh, smart. you get your one dollar nice, nice. question. That is good strategy because, you know, Josh is doing really well. He got his seven. Yeah, Give him his one. Ooh. Who is the only person, Josh, other than Chairman Kaga to host the show? Dr. Yukio Hattori. I don't have that he's a doctor, but it is in fact Yukio Hattori. It's, not, it's wrong. It's not, it's not fair when you say it like so, when you pronounce it like that, because it just sounds right. Like, <laughs> Matt, uh, why don't you swipe away? And tell me what the first question Isaac's going to answer. I'm guessing it's two, a two, three, or, three five. or five. You're right. Oh, it's got to be right. One more time. It's the three dollar question, and we go now to your questions. We haven't even asked one question in your category of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. This is your three dollar question. It's been so long. I forgot about the, <laughs> forgot about the show. Who played? An actress named Marissa Redman in season one, then played a girl Will likes named Dee Dee in season two. Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah, three dollars. <coughs> there you go. Josh, is it a two or a five? Well, let's find out. It's a five. It's you five. get the five dollar nice. question. Just what you wanted, Isaac, well, to get see. back into this game. If you get it right, you'll be just within breathing distance of Josh. In the season two episode, Eyes on the Prize, who hosts the game show Double Trouble that Will and Carlton go on? Oh my God, what is that dude's name? He has that big fucking head. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, he has that hair. His name is Yoko that Shane. smile. <laughs> Wait, you mean he's a game show host he's with a game hair show. and a smile? It's not, Wink, it's not Wink Martindale, is it? It's not. Okay. Uh, it's who is Bob it? Eubanks. Bob Eubanks oh. is the answer. Yeah. So you, had a chance. He, you, you lose no money. This was a great round. It's still a close game. Anybody's game. <laughs> In round three, our experts will answer two questions, this time for $5 a piece. And while they're thinking, the other experts will bet on whether or not they know the answer. And if they guess right, they'll make just as much money as the expert who's answering. Isaac, no offense, but we're going to start with the player with the lowest score. <laughs> Happens to be you again. Story of the day, right? <laughs> Here's your first question I in round it. three, Isaac. Love the category it. is the fresh, fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay. What three characters appear in every episode of the show? And think about the answer, don't answer it, because your opponents are trying to figure out if you know it, figure out if you're right or wrong. You ready, Isaac? Yeah. Let's hear. Uh, Uncle Phil, Will, and Carlton. That is correct. Gentlemen, they both thought you'd get it right. Five dollars for everybody. Well done. Hey! Everybody wins. We, everybody. We move now <laughs> to you. To go wrong, guys. Uh, we move now to you, Matt. Halloween movies. Here's your first question. Your opponents are going to figure out if you really do know the answer. The name of Michael Myers' psychiatrist, Sam Loomis, is a direct homage to a character in what other film? Michael Myers' psychiatrist's name is Sam Loomis, a direct homage to a character in what other film? Thinking about it, looking, studying. I don't know if that's a poker face on Matt or not. Well, let's hear the answer, Matt. Psycho. Psycho is correct. Gentlemen, Josh said you get it wrong. Isaac said you get it right. Josh does not get the five dollars this time. I flipped time. it at the last second. But he does that's get a chance said. to answer a question here. <laughs> That doesn't even make any sense. Uh, Josh, here's your question. The category is Iron Chef. Ron Siegel and Bobby Flay, the only Americans to win on Iron Chef, both did so using what theme ingredient? The only two Americans to win on Iron Chef did so with the same theme ingredient. Ron Siegel and Bobby Flay were those chefs. And right or wrong, I sensed a last minute switch from right to wrong or wrong to right from Isaac there. A little thump right there, boom. What do you think, Josh? I believe it was lobster. I believe you're right. Five dollars, five dollars, and five dollars. Did you switch from wrong? You I did, did. Yeah. I saw it, yep. Yeah. Very, so very, a good, I, I, a good I can't fool you guys. I can't fool you guys. We come back, uh, we come back to you now, uh, Isaac. Your second question, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. 
What is the name of Uncle Phil's law firm, a play on the name of a 70s band? What is the name of Uncle Phil's law firm? It's a play on the name of a 70s band. Josh is just looking at you like you're gonna betray anything. You know, I told you we're like make out close right now. Man. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you. I don't know if you. I'm, I'm not gonna. Are you trying to come in? No. Oh, what are you no, doing? No, no, no. I, if anything, I, I'm, I'm just careful. He's got, he's got yellow pepper on his wrist. So. Yeah, that's uh, not sexy. What's your answer? Firth, Wynn, and Meyer. Firth, Wynn, and Meyer. That is correct. Right, right, and right. Five dollars for everyone. Everybody gets wealthier. Matt, we come to you. Halloween movies. Your second question, in Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, what is the name of the curse that forces a person to kill their entire family in order to save civilization? What is the name <laughs> of the curse that forces a person to kill their entire family in order to save civilization? That was a whole bunch of, bunch of awkward right there. <laughs> How do you think I felt? He was right next to me. What do you oh, think? Are we ready Thorn. with our uh, guesses? Thorn. Thorn is the Thorn. correct answer. Right and right, everybody gets five dollars. I should point out there are well, there's one contestant thus far, or two contestants who have not gotten the question wrong. We come to your second question. So by doing that, you point out that there's one. Well, that's that got another way. <laughs> <laughs> one that has gotten it. It was hey, clever. You it was said, you said it. I named you no said one. It. I said nothing. <laughs> uh, Josh, person here. Josh, your second question. In terms of the series, what does the number? 2,389,995 represent. In terms of the series, what does the number 2,389,995 represent? And you'll give me an answer now. That is the number of calories that Chairman Kaga consumed over the course of the run. You know what, Isaac, he's right. And you knew he would be, so there you go. Five dollars for everyone. We will be back with our fourth round. It's round four, and that's where we determine our winner, the expert of experts. And it's anybody's game, because they can wager any or all of their money. Isaac, you've been given two subjects in your category of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, guest stars and Jeffrey. In guest stars, you've decided to wager $10. So that would bring your total, if you get it right, to $51, which would give you momentarily the lead in the game. Not that momentarily. Here, here <laughs> is the question. Momentarily by a dollar. <laughs> what is the name of Will's old friend from Philly, played by Don Cheadle in season one? Ice pick. Trey. Ice Trey, I knew oh, it. Oh, I thought you were going to say it. I thought you were going to say it. It's been the story it's of one tray. word for this guy, hasn't it? I thought you were going to say it. That's right. Uh, you're down to 31. We move to you, Josh. The category is Iron Chef, and the subjects you have been given are Iron Chef Kobe and Iron Chef Nakamura. You're wagering $11 in the subject of Iron Chef Kobe. In a 1998 battle against Hiromichi Yoneda, Iron Chef uses what food item to, quote, tenderize an octopus to death? This for $11. Oh, wait. I remember. It was a daikon radish. It was a daikon radish. Yes. $11 to 54 We come to you now. Matt, the category I I misunderstood is the point. Halloween... Movies, <laughs> Halloween movies, <laughs> your subjects, Dr. Loomis and locations. You've chosen to wager $25, $25 in I, locations. This I will thought, bring, I think I thought I had. bring you way ahead <laughs> or possibly way behind. Here's your question. What setting that appears in multiple films in the series is located in real life Warren County, Illinois? What setting? is located in Warren County, Illinois. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm going to say Smith's Grove Sanitarium. I'm going to say you have $75. Oh! Whoa! I'm shaking, guys. <laughs> All right, word? we come to our second questions of round four experts. We come back to you, Isaac. <laughs> Your second category is Jeffrey. 
and you wagered twenty dollars in this category that would put you at fifty one should you get it right here is the question what is jeffrey the butler's full name at birth jeffrey <laughs> Jeffrey Barbara Butler. Jeffrey Barbara Bo Butler is correct. You have $51 right now. Oh God. Okay, Josh, we come back to you. Your subject is Iron Chef Nakamura. Oh boy. And you have wagered $30. And this will put you in first place should you get it. Here is the question. In Iron Chef Nakamura's first match, he defeated Chef Kiyoshi Suzuki in Battle Foie Gras. Name any of Nakamura's four winning dishes from that battle. Iron Chef Nakamura's first oh, match geez. for $30. He defeated Chef Kyoshi Suzuki in Battle Foie Gras. Name any of Nakamura's four winning dishes. Um, gosh. And we I need an answer. Like <laughs> uh, ice trays. I, I think, just the Total guess, foie gras sashimi, no idea. It was close. Foie gras sushi would have been one of them. Oh. Foie gras and pumpkin I'm... soup, foie gras in yuba rolls, Dang. and foie gras and miso on a turnip oh. were the other foie answers. Foie gras miso horny. Wow. That was uh, some tough luck. I'm gonna have to test that. I know, right? It was, wow. It was, it was and we come miso. to you now, Matt. <laughs> like me too. Yeah. Matt, <clears throat> your subject here is Dr. Loomis. You have a $24 lead on Isaac, your closest competitor. You have wagered $25. This would be, so, this would be quite a game. Wow. If Percolating you right get now. this right, I am you are the expert of experts. If I get it wrong, oh God. <laughs> and if you get it wrong, does that oh make, God. Does that make me an expert, really? <laughs> Dr. Loomis, in the 2007 remake, what is the title of the book Dr. Loomis writes about Michael? I think, um, <clears throat> The Devil's Eyes. That's correct. Oh, well yes. done. And it should be noted, it should be noted, and I think I'm correct in saying this, that Matt did not get a question wrong. No, he did not. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, unbelievable. Congratulations. You are our expert of experts. You have a total of $100. You've gotten zero questions wrong. <laughs> now, though, you get to answer the hardest question in the world. You're going to start by telling us the percentage of your total that you're going to be playing for. If you get the question wrong, which apparently you can't do, you'll lose that much of your money. But if you get it right, you will add, of course, that same amount. You've had time to think about your wager. What percentage of your total do you want to put at risk? I know this is going to be shocking since I've gotten every question right, but I'm going to do 20%. 20%. Because and, I'm a pussy. <laughs> and 20% of 100, anybody have a calculator? <laughs> okay, okay, Matt, here comes the hardest question in the and world. I get 30 seconds? You do. 30, okay. Sure, it is gettable, but only by the most knowledgeable expert. You've proven yourself to be that. Matt, we're looking for six names from the first Halloween. Give the first and last name of Lori Strode's two girlfriends who were murdered. The first names of their boyfriends and the first and last names of the two children Lori winds up babysitting. Okay. Her friends are um, Linda Vanderklok and um, Annie Brackett, and uh, the first names of their boyfriends are Bob and Paul, and the two people that they're babysitting are Lindsay Wallace and Tommy Doyle. Oh my God, you just won $120. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 